Hi everyone. Today we are going to learn the basic concept of VAT. In the UAE, VAT law has been introduced from with effect from 1st January 2018. So before going in depth about the law and different provisions of the law, it's very important to understand for all of us first the producer the farmer is producing the dates from his field and selling to the factory so that is one business transaction tax will be applicable there then from the factory they are doing some manufacturing activity then they are selling to the wholesale division there will be a tax impact for that transactions next the wholesale division is keeping it ready for selling to retail so when they sell to the retail division there will be another transaction that that will be applicable next the retail will be selling to the end customer end consumer that is like people like me and you for consuming the product suppose in this entire transactions it is coming going from the producer that is a farmer to the factory to the wholesaler to the retailer and reaching to you and me as an end consumer let us understand how vat will be applicable for all these transactions i have given an example suppose in this transaction the producer that is a farmer is selling some of the dates to the factory assume that the value of the sale is 100 100 dirhams that means the total selling price is 100 of course he is registered dealer so he has to charge 5% vat on it he will charge 100 plus 5 his selling price is 100 plus 5 he will collect 100 and 5 from the factory and this 5 dirham he will pay to the authority next stage is the factory is doing some manufacturing activity assume that they did the manufacturing activity and the final product value is 200 dirhams their selling price is 200 dirhams so with 5% tax the factory is going to sell to the wholesaler so 200 plus 5% tax 210 210 ten dirham is the tax on sales and for the factory tax on purchase value was 5 dirhams excess amount the factory collected is 10 minus 5 this amount they will be paying to the authority now the chain extends the wholesaler wholesaler bought the materials bought the juice for a, for an amount of 200 plus tax 210 suppose their selling price is 300 they are selling this to the retailer for 300 dirhams 5% tax 315 so the tax on sale value is 15 tax on purchase value is 10 the sale value for the wholesaler to the retailer is 300 dirhams so tax on 300 dirhams is 15 dirham 315 the cost for the wholesaler is 200 dirhams plus tax is 10 dirham so excess amount he collected is 15 minus 10 the wholesaler is paying to the authority five dirhams then we are coming to the retailer retailer purchased for 300 dirhams tax paid 15 dirham but their selling price is 400 dirhams they are selling to the end consumer so 400 plus tax 420 tax on sale is 20 dirhams tax on purchase is 15 dirham excess amount collected is five dirhams that they are paying to the authority so here the producer paid 5 dirhams factory paid 5 dirhams wholesaler paid 5 dirhams and retailer paid 5 dirhams and the end consumer like me and you paid 420 we are not getting it back we are consuming it we are not using it for business purpose so it is cost to us 420 is the cost for end consumer and the entire tax 20 dirham is paid to the authority by different business entities so for us the cost as a consumer and for the business it is not a cost 
that is a basic concept of VAT as well. Unless some exceptional cases are there like exempt supply, in all cases VAT is not a cost to the business, VAT is cost to the consumer. Now, let us just understand what is the basic definition of VAT. VAT is a type of general consumption tax that is collected incrementally based on the value added at each stage of production or sales. We have learned four transactions we learned here wherever the value is added there the tax applicability comes. It is a consumption tax, it is the consumer tax, the end has end user has to pay. So, the definition explain the, the example what I given is exactly matching with the definition is a general consumption tax collected incrementally on each stage of production or sale of when the value is added. It is usually implemented as a destination based tax and in some of the countries the VAT is known as GST as well. There are two important terminologies to be uh, uh, understood. One is input tax, the other one is output tax. Input tax means when we make the purchases or incur some expenses, we get the bill along with that, they are paying the tax. So, the tax element is called input tax. When we invoice the customer, there will be a tax element that is called output tax. That means, when we sell the products or give the services to customers, the tax what we are collecting from the customer is called output tax and the tax what we pay to the supplier or service provider is called input tax. The difference between the output tax and the input tax for a particular period is the amount the taxable person has to pay to the authority. Let us understand the basic concepts little more with an example. In this example, we are going to explain the all possibilities of input tax and output tax. Here uh, the purchase and expenses, so these are coming as the input tax. Example, in the fruits manufacturing company, suppose the fruits value for particular period, 50,000 is the total purchase, tax will be 2,500. Sugar and other items, whatever the ingredients they purchased for this period is 30,000 is the total value plus tax is 1,500. So, input tax is 1,500. Next, the labor cost or the salary, 35,000 is the total amount paid for this particular period, no tax on it. Packing materials, 10,500 is the tax. Advertisement cost, 5,250 is the tax. Rent, 10,500 tax. Stationary 6000, tax element is only 250, not 300 dirhams. The reason is that they might have done some purchases from unregistered dealer. 5000 value of worth of stationary purchased from registered dealer, so 250 is the tax. From 1000 worth of stationery they purchased from unregistered dealer, so they did not pay tax for it. Next is gratuity, no tax on it. So, total value of input tax is 5500. Let us see the other side sales sales so the output tax on different kinds of juices like a dates mango apple orange and roll 80000 50000 so different figures are there for that the 5% tax they have to collect so the total output tax is coming 10000 dirhams the amount where the company has to pay to the authorities output minus input that means 10000 minus 5500 so the net amount they have to pay is 4500 as a tax to the authority. In short, from my example which I have given, you might have understood now that VAT is not a cost to the business. In general, VAT is not cost to the business. VAT is cost to the customer or the consumer, that is end consumer, whose it is a consumption based tax and cost is cost has to be borne by the end consumer.